the whole situation is not good at that at this point and that's why there's several meetings going on right now to evaluate tactics uh, how we how we approach this um, we, we would like the protesters to uh, stop the violence we certainly don't want to have any violence um, on our part you know we, just, we want this to be peaceful this is going to be a long process so we, we need to uh, we need to have everybody tone it down it's a powder keg and uh, we all recognize that and uh, that, that's why we're, we're going to uh, to try to facilitate the protest tonight and and we hope that the the protesters will recognize that we are trying to to facilitate to to help everybody bring this bring this down bring all the tensions down if, if individuals if individuals are in a crowd that's attacking the police they need to get out of that crowd we can't individually go in and say excuse me sir are you peacefully protesting are you throwing rocks are you throwing a molotov cocktail it's a crowd if you're not if 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 the crowd is getting violent and you don't want to be violent get out of the crowd what, what I'm satisfied with is that um, we haven't hurt anybody nobody's got nobody's gotten injured or killed uh, a couple of police officers uh, one officer did get hit with a brick and actually broke his ankle but um, and one other officer was injured but in, but in general I mean with the chaos that's going on right now I am I'm at least happy that nobody's nobody's gotten seriously injured yeah. well the, the whole picture is being painted a little bit sideways from what's really happening and it's it's not military it's it's tactical operations it's SWAT teams that's that's who's out there police we're doing this in blue